6.4, the use of Pythagoras' theorem in 2 and 3D problems. This is part of my ultimate revision guide for further maths GCSE. This is the geometry section. This index button here will take you back to the index for geometry. And down here, any further maths exam questions I've done on uh, Pythagoras' theorem will come up down here. Okay, what we need to know for Pythagoras for further maths is mainly to do with the Pythagorean triples because these will allow us to be able to do cal non calculated questions. You should be familiar with the 3, 4, 5 triangle and any multiple of that 6, 8, 10, 9, 12, 15, and so on. Um, that allows you to work out things without actually having to do any calculations um, on a calculator. The, the other one that is relatively common is the 5, 12, 13, and multiples of that. Um, but these two are specifically said that you need to be aware of. Um, which are not very common. Um, in fact, I, I wouldn't know these off by heart unless I was prepping for this exam. So you need to be need to need to make sure you have those to mind. These two are the most common. In fact, they're going to be used down here. Okay, we're going to go through a couple of, couple of questions, and then uh, so we're going to go through question one and two, and then we'll see what we can what we sort of things we need to be able to do. Okay, it's pretty common to have a question where you've got to work out the um, essentially the longest diagonal of a box. Um, to do that, if, we, if I just bring a box in here for us to have a look at. Okay, to, to work out whether a knitting needle will fit in, into a box, you need to work out how long the longest diagonal is. So that's any corner to any other corner, op or any opposite corner. Um, to do that, um, the sort of long way around that would be to work out um, first of all the base diagonal across here and then we could use um, that and this side to work out this diagonal so we use the bottom the base to work out that diagonal and then we use this side and, and that diagonal to work out this diagonal so we could do that um, if we ha call this a um, let's have it 30 by 10 by 4. So we could do the, let's just let's do the long way, and I'll show you a shortcut in the end. So to work out this diagonal, I'll call it x, x squared equals 30 squared plus 10 squared. So x is going to be the square root of 30 squared plus 10 squared. Um, and then I'm going to take that diagonal and use that as a side of a right angle triangle with the 4. To work out the diagonal I want, which is y, let's change color, so that y squared equals x squared um, plus 4 squared. So x squared is just, it's actually that, wasn't it? 30 plus 30 squared plus 10 squared. And I'm going to add on the 4 squared, and I just want to do the square root of that. So this is the sort of shortcut, if you if you remember this. Oh, it's the squares. Um, just in, in two dimensions, you, you square the two sides, the two short sides to make the diagonal. To make the diagonal in three dimensions, you square all three sides, 30, 10, and 4, and then you square root the, the sum of those. So we just need to um, add those up and do the square root of that. So let's bring in the calculator and do the square root of 30 squared plus 10 squared, which is 100, plus 4 square root of 16, and we get this value here, 31.8747549. And always with, with any any question answer that's not exact, well, we could have written the third value for that. Um, write down what the calculator says as a decimal, and then round it if you want to round it afterwards. Okay, so answering the question, it just fits. Okay, so that's a, that's a standard three-dimensional Pythagoras question. A shortcut for that, if, if it was 3D coordinates or anything in a 3D grid, you just um, square the individual lengths of the cuboid and add them together and square it the whole lot, gives you the diagonal. Okay, the second one. Okay, so this will be a non-calculated question using the triples that we that I talked about earlier. 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to use these two here. 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13. The 3, 4, 5 triangle, so that one is 5, 
then 5, 12, 13 triangle, so y equals 13, makes this very trivial. So if you know those um, Pythagorean triples, it can make this sort of question very straightforward if it's given in such a way that you can use them one after the other. So we need to, to get this side, we need to work out this length here, and we know this is a 3, 4, two short sides of 3 and 4, so the diagonal, the hypotenuse is going to be 5, and 5 and 12, the diagonal will be 13. You can do the values if you want to, just to check that, but that's, that's a standard set of Pythagorean triples. Okay, so that's Pythagoras, um, pretty straightforward. Um, I think if you remember the thing about the 3D coordinate, 3D... Uh, trick saves you a lot of time and a lot of hassle and using the triples you, these two um, you're probably gonna have to go away and learn just in case they use them these are more common um, but you're at risk if you don't, mem don't memorize these on the non-calculator you could work out these values um, but not easy if you don't know them